Okay, so in this video, we'll be going over how to create a basic floor plan in Finstack 4.0. Since everything in 4.0 is context sensitive, the first thing you'll need to do is navigate down to the floor you want to create a graphic for using the smart menu navigation. Once you've reached the desired floor, click on the menu option to switch over to a list of available apps. Scroll down to the System Integrator App section and click on the Graphics Builder option to open up the slide bar. Select the new option to begin setting up your floor plan graphic. The first section of the form allows for you to type in a name for the graphic. Down below, you can pick a sample equipment that you wish to display on this graphic. The drop down list will be populated with equipment that reference this floor. Once you've selected a sample equipment, the two options below will attempt to automatically select the room temperature as the default point and the room temperature set point as the comparison point. The default point's value will be displayed on the floor plan and will also play a role in determining the gradient for that zone. This point should typically be a temperature point. The comparison point is optional and can be used in scenarios where a temperature set point is available. If a set point is selected, the gradient will display its color based on the difference between the selected default temp and the selected comparison point, which is commonly known as the delta value. If no point is selected, then the gradient will be determined based off of the default temperature. In the next part of the form, you can choose from a list of equipment that will be displayed on the floor plan graphic. Down below, you can set the min and max values for the gradient legend. If you selected a comparison point, the min max will default to negative 5 as the min and 5 as the max. But of course, you can customize this as needed. You also have the option to make the color legend a smooth gradient by checking the box. So once you're done, hit OK and the graphic will be created. If you look at the smart menu to the right of the screen, the graphic you just created should automatically appear there. Go ahead and click on the slide bar and select the edit option to open up the graphics builder. As soon as you open up the graphic, you'll see that Finstack automatically created smart labels for every equipment you had selected to bring into the graphic and stack them up on the top left corner. You'll also see a title bar and an information button that we'll discuss a little later. We're going to leave all these here for now. The first thing we'll need to do at this point is to bring in the floor plan image. To do this, you can go to your graphics properties, open up the background section, and change the type from color to image. Then select the browse option to bring up your available Finstack files. If your image isn't already uploaded into Finstack, you can go ahead and drag and drop it into this window to upload it. Once your image is uploaded, go ahead and select it in the window and hit the import button to bring it into your graphic. If your image does not match your graphic files width and height exactly, you may need to adjust the image size, center it, and select the no repeat option. Once your image is centered and ready, the next step is to begin drawing a poly to represent each of your zones. Start off by switching one of your left menu windows to show the virtual points. Then, go to the top menu and select the polygon tool. The suggested workflow when drawing polys is to select the virtual point for the equipment you're drawing before you draw it. This way, the binding between the point and the poly will automatically be created as you draw your poly. You can verify which point is bound to the poly by selecting it, then switching over to the advanced section of the properties menu and scrolling down to the virtual point ref. If you make a mistake while drawing out any of your polys, you can use the Polygon Edit tool to adjust your poly. If for some reason you missed a binding or selected the wrong one when drawing your poly, you can always update your binding by dragging and dropping the virtual point over the correct poly. Okay, so you can go ahead and repeat this process until you're done drawing out all of your zones. Once you're done drawing out your zones, go ahead and switch back to the selection tool and open up the smart menu by clicking on the icon on the top right corner of your screen that looks like three lines stacked on top of each other. Once you've opened up the menu, click on the magic buttons option to bring up the available magic buttons. Under the floor section, you will have an option called smart label to polys. This button will jump the smart labels over to the poly that shares the same virtual point binding. So as long as each poly has the correct point bound to it, this button will move each label to its correct location. 
you may notice that some labels are bigger or smaller than others. This is because Finstack automatically tries to match the label size to the size of the poly. If you wish to manually change the size of the smart label, you can select the label and use the resize magic button to select the size. If you wish to do a global resize, you can hit the back button in the smart menu to return to the main graphics builder tools. Go up to the component option, select the smart label slider, and click on the select option to select all of your smart labels at once. Now you can go back to the magic buttons and do a global resize. You can also select the smart label short names under the equipment section to add a custom name to any of your smart labels. Once you're happy with the position, size, and name of each of your smart labels and zones, the last step is to make your smart labels non-interactive so they don't get in the way of your polys when they get clicked on. Now all that's left is to save the graphic and you're done. To view your floor plan graphic, go ahead and use the nav menu to navigate down to that particular floor. Once the floor plan graphic is loaded, all of the zones will automatically update and display a gradient based on the values of your points. One of the best parts about the new workflow is that once you bind your points to the polys, Finstack will automatically create the hyperlinks for you. For example, if you click on one of your zones, Finstack will bring up magic bubbles based on that zone's equipment. If that equipment has a graphic, you can instantly hop over to it by clicking on the largest magic bubble at the very bottom. When you're done viewing the equipment graphic, you can easily go back to your floor plan by using the back button on the browser. You can also use related bubbles to view any available information for any particular zone at any given time. So for example, let's say I want to look at the points for one of my equipment without having to leave the floor plan graphic. All I have to do is click on that zone, click on the point graphics magic bubble, and Finstack will automatically load up the points for that equipment in the smart menu to your right. Another really cool thing worth mentioning um, that's given to you automatic as well is the title bar and the blue info button on the top left. The title bar of course will automatically bring in the floor name and indicate which site it belongs to. The information button will bring up magic bubbles related to the current floor. So for example, if you've already made a summary for your floor, you will automatically get a magic bubble representing that summary. And what's cool is if you click on it, you can automatically get the summary overview pop-up, which is a very useful thing to have at a floor level. So overall, when creating a floor plan graphic, all you have to do is select the equipment you want to bring in, then draw each zone, use a few magic buttons, and you're done. Finsac takes care of everything else, saving you a huge amount of time and ultimately allowing you to get more graphics done at a much quicker rate. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the details discussed, please contact us at support at j2inn.com. Thanks for watching.